AirSpy Software Define Radio is excellent piece of hardware with very good quality for the price. I find interesting way to improve the signal to noise ratio of the receiving signal. In case when very weak signal which we want to receive is close to strong unwanted signal which make non-linear distortion in the receiver front end. There are two possibilities. If weak signal frequency is lower than strong unwanted signal producing non-linear distortion, then you can place the weak signal of interest on the right edge of the spectrum window just before the receiving signal level goes down, here. In that way the strong unwanted signal with higher frequency than our weak signal of interest is placed on the right end on the scale in the area where the signal level goes down. Now we can increase the IF and LNA gain without getting intermodulation or other nonlinear distortion from the stronger unwanted signal. In that way, actually, we increase the signal to noise ratio. Here is an example. This is the very, very weak signal from Greece. This is the Greek radio station on 87.6 MHz receiving here in Macedonia, about 150 kilometers north. As you can see on the right side of the, of the window, there are many strong signals. But we are interested for this very, very weak signal on 87.6 MHz. And if we increase the gain, as we improving the gain, you can see that there is no improving the signal. Here. That is non-linear distortion. Also with IF gain. We cannot receive the signal. It's very, very weak because of this and this very, very high, very strong signals. But if we moved the weak signal on the right end of the spectrum window in this area, just before the signal goes down, here, 87.6 it is here and now the very strong signals are right in the area where the levels go down now we can increase the gain And you can see there is a signal with a level around 15 decibels which we cannot receive on the other end of the scale of the spectrum window Second case is when the weak signal frequency is higher than strong unwanted signal. Then you can place the weak signal of interest on the left edge of the spectrum window. Here. Just before the receiving signal level goes down. In that way, the strong unwanted signal with lower frequency than our weak signal of interest is placed on the left in the area where receiving signal level goes down. Now we can increase the IF and LNA gain without getting intermodulation or other nonlinear distortion from the stronger unwanted signal. 
In that way, actually we increase the signal to noise ratio. Here is one weak signal on 107.4 MHz. If we increase the gain, we lose the signal because there are many stronger signal on the left. But when we place the signal of interest on 107.4 megahertz on the left edge of the window here then the stronger signals with lower frequency than our signal of interest are placed left and their signal level goes down so now we can increase the gain and in that case we actually increase the signal to noise ratio